you are to choose to paint your life today, what will the image be? Remember, you are the artist, not the canvas. It celebrates the ultimate triumph of good over evil. It's one of the most ancient, joyous and colorful festival. This festival was brought down from India in 1838 by the Indian indentured immigrants. Shub Holi, Lorreen Ward here welcoming you to Home Stretch Magazine Pathway Special. So relax and be enlightened about everything relating to this colorful day. But first, let's begin with some entertainment.
now that the mood is right, it's time for us to find out why and how exactly we celebrate Pagwa. And Nadia Holodar answers all your questions. Every year in March, Guyanese celebrate the Festival of Colors, Pagwa. This joyous observance of good over evil was brought here by the East Indians who came as indentured laborers in 1838. Pagwa, or Holi, commemorates the new year for Hindus. Initial observances started when droughts affecting crops were ended by pouring rain, much to the joy of farmers. They would celebrate the end of the drought and the beginning of spring, hoping for a bountiful harvest. They would play and celebrate in the rain, soaking up each other in excitement just the way we do on Pagwa morning. Forty days prior to the actual holiday, celebrations of the festival begin with the planting of holika, a castor oil tree. <laughs> It is customary for families, mandirs, and religious groups to do chowtal singing at various locations leading up to Pagwa Day. The burning of Holika takes place on the eve of Pagwa, the night of the full moon. It is believed that Holi was celebrated before the legend of Prahalad, but the story eventually became accepted symbolically with celebrations. Prahalad held on to his beliefs that his father, King Hiranyakashipu, was not God. Angry that his son wouldn't worship him, the king sent his sister, Prahalad's aunt, Holika, to burn Prahalad. Their plan, however, backfired and Holika was burned to ashes. Prahalad was believed to have been saved by chanting God's name as he emerged from the fire. The actual burning of the pyre around the castor oil tree on the eve of Pagwa is symbolic of this triumph of good over evil. On Pagwa morning, the ashes are collected and placed on those celebrating, symbolizing hope and renewal of life. This is directly followed by the abir and water dowsing. In the afternoon, everyone gets dressed up in white and come out with powders in all colors, abrac, perfumes, water guns, and play with families and friends at homes or at various events countrywide. Like the beautiful blooming flowers of spring, they all get colored up. They all look like one big mosaic of colorful jubilance. They eat sweetmeats, share laughs, put away differences, and celebrate the good in life. Now that we know the significance, we have a deeper appreciation for the joyous festival. Some of the events Anadia mentioned have already been staged. We now take you to Peshayanagar for one such activity. Several top performers of the Emerging Voices show took to the stage to put the crowd in the mood. The Dharmic Nitya Sang was sure to lift the spirits of everyone with a number of sensational performances.
greetings were brought from Trinidad and Tobago. Even the babies of the dance class held at Dharmic Kendra came out to surprise and impress. It was an entertaining Pagua Mela and Bazaar with very positive messages for those in attendance. I know for sure we'll have family over. We can't leave them hungry, can we? I love my husband so much. I just toss it in and toss it out. The Guyana Hindu Dhammik Sabha has been doing this for a number of years now. They also take the excitement to Burbies and Essequibo annually. Rangoli is made for special occasions. They are used for many different reasons. Ravi Mobir along with two other colleagues try their hands at making a Rangoli for Pagua. Hey guys, I'm Ravi Mohabir and today we'll be making a Rangoli. Now, Rangolis are usually done as a decorative purpose. Uh, but some of them do have a significant meaning to them depending on the design or what is being depicted on a rangoli. Today we're going to try to make this peacock here and Anadio Holidar will be helping me or resident Drautis, yes Drautis, Norman Gobin did the design for us and let's see, we're, we're not pros but let's see if you know we can get it to look exactly like this or even better. So what we did is that we bought plain rice and we also bought food coloring. We mix the coloring in a little bit of water and like you see we have pans. So we have already had the colors that we want to use and we just soak the rice with the food coloring and water and we mix it all together and we left it to dry overnight. Hence uh, the different color rice that you're seeing that we're using. It's very simple, anyone can do it. You don't need to be an artist or a professional. You could try a look and see how it goes. <laughs> Well, as you 
you can see our peacock is taking shape and now we have to do the the wings is the it Well, there you have it. Our Rangoli is completed, and I did had extra help from Natasha Smith. Uh, it's very simple to do. You could do it for any occasion. It's usually done around Diwali, but like I said, it's for a decorative purpose, and uh, you can make it anytime at weddings, if you have a function, anything. And each symbol or each design that you make has a meaning for us we just chose the peacock this is what we saw online the design that we liked and we ran with it and this is the end product it may not look like the design we we pulled off but i'm sure it looks good enough and yeah you too can make this all you need is some rice some food coloring to color the rice and a space to draw your design and make it that's it See you guys. That looks very simple. Even you guys at home can make one. Pagua isn't just about playing with colors. It's also about wishing each other all the best during this festive time. Speaking of which, we'll now have some greetings from the masterminds behind this program. I would like to send Pagua greetings to one and all, um, all Guyanese generally especially your Hindu brothers and sisters. Pagua is a time when everybody celebrates, um, regardless of what walk of life you're from, what race, what color, what creed. And so as a nation, we have seen Pagua with people in all sorts of colors. In fact, you recognize them before and then after you don't know who is who. And so I'm just hoping that this year is another such celebration and we all enjoy together the true meaning of Pagua and ushering in the spring season. Happy Pagua to one and all. Shubh Holy guys, from Norman Gobin, from my family to yours, wishing you all the blessings you can ever want on this prosperous day. Hi Gayana, Carl Davy here. I just want to wish you all a Shubh Holy. Holy is a day to express love with colors and I wish that your home and hearts be colored vibrantly. Wishing you all the best on this year's Holy to all my family, friends and supporters throughout um, the year. I mean, if you're still young in the year, but also supported, supported us so far on Home Stretch Magazine. Happy Holy <laughs> from me to you. Hey, I'm Patrick Ramsamy. would like to extend Shub Holy to Guyana from the technical team. Um, please play safe. If somebody don't want to play Pagua, don't force them to do so. Uh, play with your friends, families, and everybody just have a good time. Peace. Hello Ghana, I'm Natasha Smith and on behalf of my family and I, I would like to wish everyone a happy Pagua 2017. Do hope that you have a wonderful day and enjoy to the fullest. Hey, my name is Dekwa Mori and um, I'd like to send out Shub Holi to the entire Guyana and uh, whatever or whatever you're going to be participating on this holiday, just remember to play safe and uh, if persons are not going to be participating on whatever you're going to be doing, just remember to refrain from such. So in all, just have a good day. Eh? Hey guys, Shubholi to all our viewers out there. I'm Ravi Mohabir and I'd like to say Shubholi to my friends and family as well. And remember when you're playing Pago, play responsible. Stay safe. As we celebrate this year's Festival of Colors, let us all be one big Guyanese mosaic of bright colors emitting optimism, love and peace. Happy Pagua from the General Programming Department and the Home Stretch Magazine team to you and your home circle. From my family to yours, Shub Holi, and may your hearts be filled with colors of togetherness, joy, smiles, and celebration. And this is where we bring the curtains down. Catch the rebroadcast of our Pagua special on Tuesday at 19 hours 30. And join us next Sunday at 15 hours 30 for a new edition of Homestretch Magazine. I am Lorreen Ward. Be safe and have a colorful day.
Bishop Holy from uh, me. <laughs> Peace of the season be with you. No, me like the last part. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, show holy to all our viewers. The bird is a pigeon. Wait, no. No alcohol allowed.